So we've had a, so this has just been, so this has been a short video. Uh, I've forgotten what to say. <laughs> Right, I'm going for NGC 7635, which is the Bubble Nebula. And also, in the frame, hopefully, I'm gonna get the Northern Lagoon Nebula. So I'm just opening the roof. If it works. Wrong button, try again. GC 7635. Right. Now this rig hasn't been power aligned for probably two or three months. So I thought I'd give it a quick power align and just see. See if anything's moved. It normally needs a uh, once over every now and then, so I'll give it a quick go and see what it looks like. every time let's connect here wait for that blue tick here we go uh, ASO air and enter right we're in um, I can take a dark frame now which means I'm gonna have to turn the light off be on the cross so it's not quite there it's not far out but it's not quite right so just need to make a little adjustment here so that is now parallel aligned and looking pretty good right so we are up and running on my target there we have a hundred percent full moon and luckily the moon is there and I'm shooting over there so it is away from the moon, and I'm shooting narrowband with three nanometer Anglia filters. So hopefully that won't affect it too much. We'll have to wait and see. This is waiting for my first sub to come in. Then we'll see what it looks like. So my first sub has come in, and that is the bubble nebula there, and that one there is the Northern Lagoon Nebula. It's uh, NGC 7538. And just to the top there, this is Star Cluster. Um, can't remember the name of it right at this moment, but I will put it on the screen. Um, yeah, that's the framing. Yeah, I had thought about trying to get a bit more of that Star Cluster in the frame. But then I was going to be shoving the um, 
Northern Lagoon Nebula too far to the right. So I wanted that more in the frame. So I may even crop that cluster out when it comes to the final image. There we have it. The Bubble Nebula and the Northern Lagoon Nebula. Well, that full moon is really getting bright. It's getting higher and it's getting brighter as it goes. But hopefully it's not going to be an issue. The scope is going to be doing a Meridian Flip in around three hours. We'll be tucked up in bed by then, so I'm really hoping that's going to go okay. Anyway, I'm now going to do this running. Head in, get to bed, and fingers crossed in the morning it'll all be finished and the scope will be back to the home position. And uh, I will then close the roof from my bedroom window. I normally close it at around four o'clock in the morning. We will see. Well, the garden's a little better now. It's point four three. Earlier it was around one, and I think that was due to the seam, but the seam must be a lot better now, so that's good. I'm just going to sit that oil pad under there, under that shelf. Lift the lid off my box where my power supply is to let the heat out. It's put my hand there, it's really, really hot. So that let the heat out. And the oil pad is tucked away under the shelf there. And I'll leave it all running. And uh, now I'm going to shut the door. And I'll see the scope in the morning. Right. I'm going to leave it to it. Stay clear last night, which was good. It was very dewy, so I left the roof open. It's now nine o'clock in the morning. And I uh, decided to leave the roof open to let the sun actually dry the dew out. Earlier on, this was all wet. The walls were all wet. Still a little bit of dew on here, actually. I've dried it down once already, but um, I have to leave the roof open to dry things out a bit. So now it's time as the roof. So this has been a short video and I hope you like the image. And we've had a fairly good run of clear skies recently and I've been working on quite a few projects and there will be videos to follow. So I'd like to thank all of my subscribers. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet and you like this kind of thing and you want to follow me on my Astro Adventures, then please hit that like and subscribe button. That would be much appreciated. So I'd just like to say again, thanks everybody for watching. I uh, hope you like the video, hope you like the image. And as always, I wish you all clear skies.